Welcome back, happy learners. Here we are in Desmos. Let's sketch out tangent. Define a new function f as tangent of x and get the graph of tangent. Desmos has built in the ability to take derivatives. We can compute a derivative using the prime notation. Double check that we have the correct graph. We know the derivative of tangent is secant squared secant squared x. Take a look. You have the green graph overlaying the blue graph, which is the graph of f prime. So it looks good. Let's hide the graph of f prime. We want to do a tangent line. Well, we want to be tangent at a point. Let's pick a point on the graph. Let's use input x, capital X, f of capital X. We'll introduce a slider put a label on this, we'll call this point P. P is on the graph, on the red graph. We can change the x value and then we change the location of our point P. Good. All right, so we want a tangent line. Let's go back and review the idea of lines. We can use y equals mx, introduce a slider m. Let's change the color. Let's go with blue. So we have a, a line we can set our m to be anything that we like. Let's first watch m changing value, larger and larger, coming back down, zero, and now negative. We can change the m to the value of f prime at input capital X. And then if we move our point p, we can do that by clicking on the point p and moving it. As I move it more to the right, that the slope of the blue line becomes larger. If I move the point P to the left, the slope comes down. I can also adjust the position of P by changing the value of X directly. Okay, so our blue line has slope matching the slope at the point P, but our blue line does not pass through the point P for most values of input x. Let's re remedy that. Well, we could find the appropriate y-intercept. That's one way to go about it. I'll take the stance of using, instead of the slope-intercept, y equal mx plus b, let's use y, the point-slope form, y minus y naught equals m product x minus x naught. Let's try that again. x minus x not. Good. All right, then we need, we don't have defined the y naught and x naught, so let's make them into sliders and then figure out what should we do for each of their values. Well, for the y naught, we want to go, we know a point we want on the line. The point is p. Y naught, you look at p, what is its y coordinate? f of x, that's a capital X. Capital X, there it is. So looking good, but now we have to adjust the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate on p is capital X, so we set x naught equal to capital X. Hit play on the x. Let's slow that down. There you go. And then we have p moving about and the tangent line following p. Fantastic.